Okay, Prozzi support Andrea understanding the resonant construct and how it plays out in a design within the point of self in the past that one is attempting to fix in the future or in the present. We're looking here in terms of relationship with father specifically and the feeling that if I change myself in an acceptable way father may get out of his depression and actually recognize me and we can be happy together for infinity eternity now anyone that has done a little bit of Andreas uh, history will know about her father where which Lee left when she was quite still young and uh, specifically had a depression situation we had several discussions with him and as far as I can remember he was already reincarnated again if I remember correctly it was yeah, it was there in the beginning we discussed this. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but we looked at the whole point. So what is happening is resonantly, Andrea designed a way in terms of a relationship with males, and it was all f around the point where she felt she failed to connect with her father effectively, and therefore he left her, and therefore she's inadequate, and... And now, what the resonance does is trying to correct this point the whole time by creating relationships. So whenever any potential happen, the thoughts comes out like tentacles. Now the tentacles are the energetic lines. That then oh, it's like living energy that then seek to connect. And in the seeking to connect, it does the first step, which is assessing the potentials and how. Andrea must change to be able to create a, the relationship. The whole point is, is to find a happy point with a male. A male where she can feel supported by the male. Um, if this is not met and she cannot find a way through uh, or the point is point of failure, then it goes into major headaches, uh, sick throwing up stuff like that which is actually an expression of depression and failure at a conscious level Andrea is not really understanding that because what happens at the resonant level which is the true self as the ego design of survival within this reality is automated functioning it's functioning at a higher level of automation than what the conscious mind is functioning and it purely will send thoughts according to what it knows will bring the necessary response from Andrea's conscious mind. Now that is like tentacles that will be like you know when a puppet on a string that's how the resonant will direct the person like a puppet on a string the person will never even be aware that that is happening. Obviously in the bigger picture call it the world picture those people that manipulate reality for their own benefit they do not manipulate the conscious mind they manipulate the resonant mind they influence that with constantly imprinting symbols and then testing out which symbols will be followed and therefore they start to control through the symbols the actual thoughts people have isn't it wonderful everybody's already completely mind controlled without even knowing it. I mean, that's the whole point of mind control. Come on. How the fuck are you going to know about it? Your mind control. The only way you can stop it, you have to stop the mind, you have to stop the resonance, that which you have become as the automated mind. The resonance is in fact your automated mind that is managing your reality according to the points that is keep you within a pattern. What is your major influences in your life? Uh, within Andrea's soul path and a pre-designed soul life that was part of the old heaven system dad had to come and die as a depressed person 
and she had to fuck up her life eternally with males, uh, which is kind of Andrea's motto. They all leave, we all know that, um, or they are not in place of what it is she needs to have. Now, what must be realized, and that is quite important, is to actually breathe through this and to not enter into agreements at this stage. We have discussed this before, yeah. because the problem is, even if a thought arises, you must delete the thought immediately. Do not entertain the thought. Do not look at potential. Do not look at probability. Watch yourself if your tonality and your words change when you're speaking to people or males or about males. Do not discuss it. You want to have nothing to do with anything that can trap you back into a cycle of submission and tacit implied approval that puts you back into a cycle where you're attempting to solve your relationship with that. Then you've got to go and do extensive forgiveness on that. You have to really forgive that and yourself for what happened. You've got to really go deep into that point until you are completely free from it. Um, so that one can, before one can even look at anything else, you've got to get that out of you. Because that is the point where you, you miss that. Miss the fact of not having had a dad while everybody else had a dad. You didn't feel you had a dad. Yeah father figure wasn't there it was there but not there it's like and you took that very personal as if it was uh, something that's bad with you and therefore you've been punishing yourself long enough we got it yeah okay so within that when you do the forgiveness on that and you do it continuously it will it'll be the point where you know you're now effective is when the Headache lifts. Yeah. So you do the forgiveness till your headache lifts. I've used that quite many times. I use pain to make sure I get the point effectively. I do not just accept pain. I do forgiveness with all pain until the pain lifts, because the pain lift, lifting will it will lift in a single moment that will indicate to me very clearly I'm at the right point. Yeah. There's very few things in this reality of deception that you can use as an indicator that you are at the right point. So therefore, all pain, always do forgiveness until the pain leaves, until it stops, and it'll stop. But I found it stops with one stated forgiveness. If I do the right one, and if I have to do, I've done seven days non-stop to get pain to lift, uh, you know, falling asleep in between, and then as I wake up, I continue till I found the point. So maybe I'm a little bit obsessive when it comes to wanting my, li my life back. I mean, I don't want to be fucking controlled. So maybe it'll take you a little bit longer. I am not willing to be controlled, so therefore I do not stop <laughs> until okay. I have the point. Okay, there we go. We have Andrea's point to consider, and so that she may be free from the point that is automatically dumping her back down every time. <sighs> sort that out, Andrea. The same for everybody that have any reactive point towards that or have problems with their relationships do not work. The relationships that don't work comes from home, mom and dad relationships. That's the reason why it doesn't work. So you have to start investigating your home life and your childhood.